good morning one and all so you can see these type of questions in gate so especially in network analysis subject so the question is find the maximum power transferred to rl in the circuit so here you can see the rl circuit so rl resistance and you can see two two sources one is 24 volts voltage source and another is 6 amperes current because of these two sources what is the maximum power transferred to rl okay so we'll find out very simply it is so simple so don't worry about this so first remove the okay rl so first step is remove rl because we are going in a method or theorem called thevenin's theorem okay thevenin's theorem so by this theorem we are going to calculate the maximum power transferred. So, according to this theorem, what is the power formula means? P maximum is equals to V Thevenin's square by 4 into RL. This is the formula for maximum power transfer theorem. Okay. So, now what you have to do is, first step is removing RL. So, first we will remove RL. Okay. So, 24 volts is remained the same. Okay. So, now, here, 2 ohms is in the same place and 4 ohms is also in the same place. And 6 amperes current source is also in the same place. Okay. See, 6 amperes. So, this is 4 ohms, 2 ohms, 6 ohms. What is the second step means? Is there any technique that reduces the circuit okay so you have to see is there any technique to reduce the circuit or to make it simple so here you can see a 6 amperes current source and also a 4 ohm resistance in parallel to the okay current source here source transformation technique will be there okay source transformation technique source transformation technique what is this source transformation technique means so, you can see a current source parallel to, parallel to, or, pa or parallel resistance. Okay. So, you can convert it into a voltage source, a voltage source with the series resistance, series R. What is the formula for voltage? V is equals to I into R. Okay. R is same. R is same for both. Series R and parallel R are same. So now I am reducing this circuit. Okay. So 6 ohms is same. And here we take V Thevenin's because we are going in the same theorem. And 2 ohms is like this. And 4 ohms comes series. Because we said no. Okay. So the 24 volts is same. So now here a voltage source comes here so what is the voltage means so already i said that v is equals to i into r that is 6 into 4 that is 24 volts okay so in this circuit what we can do is we can combine these two resistances because they are in series and we can write equations so current equations we can take it as i1 i2 okay so i1 and i2 currents so now I can reduce the circuit it has. Okay. So simple 6 ohms and uh, here V Thevenin's and here again 6 ohms here 24 volts. Okay. So now here a 24 volts plus minus 24 volts. Okay. So, now you can take the sources I1 and I2 current sources. Here it is called node. Okay. So, it is called node. Here we are apply a formula. Okay. Or it is called LA. That is KCL. We can call it as Kirchhoff current law. Kirchhoff current law. What it says means sum of sum of all the currents all the currents 
leaving the node okay leaving a node is zero okay got it sum of all the currents leaving a node is zero so how we can write it as i1 plus i2 is equals to zero here i1 is leaving the node and i2 is also leaving the node how we can write okay what is the formula for i v by r so v by r so we can take it as v thevenin's minus okay minus 24 volts by okay what it is v thevenin's minus 24 volts by 6 ohms that is i1 again v thevenin's minus 24 volts that is this one v thevenin's minus 24 volts by 6 ohms is equals to 0 okay by this equation so next what we can do is both are 6 ohms and we can add this okay so 2 into v thevenin's minus 24 volts is equals to 0 okay we can write it as v thevenin's is equals to 24 volts okay so very simple we got the v thevenin's next one is how to find out the r thevenin's so here in thevenin's theorem what you have to remember is so just you have to short circuit the voltage sources you have to short circuit the voltage sources when you are going to calculate rl or r thevenin's so we will short circuit this 24 volts and this 24 volts also okay now the circuit will be look like this okay just this is r thevenin's and this is another resistance this is short circuited okay so here it is also short circuited okay 6 ohms 6 ohms now what you can do is okay so you can see these two resistances are parallel so when the resistors are in parallel what is the formula for parallel resistance total resistance so r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 okay if the resistors are same then we can obtain r by 2 okay here you can see the resistances are same so 6 ohms and 6 ohms that is rt is equals to 3 ohms okay it is the shortcut formula when the resistors are same resistors then you can write it as simply by r by 2 that is 3 ohms okay so now what is the power maximum power delivered is so already i said that p maximum is equals to v thevenin's whole square by 4 into rl so we got that v thevenin's is equals to 24 volts and rl is equals to 3 ohms we can write it as 24 into 24 by okay 4 into 3 so we can write it as 24 into 24 by 12 okay 12 ones 12 twos so how what we can obtain 48 watts so therefore the maximum power delivered is 48 watts it is very simple so if you go this formula you can learn many things so go through our video lectures and if you have any doubts so please clarify on our email so raju dot gvic at gmail dot com so if you have any doubt you can contact me on this email okay so remember that raju dot gvic at gmail dot com please subscribe our video thank you